Well, five-star lead singer Denise Pearson joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. What's How it like? Yeah. I'm very well, thank you. What's it like looking back on that? Because some artists don't like it, but I get the feeling that you love it. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. I mean, um, we were still in school. I was still in school. Um, I didn't take, uh, get to take my exams, so um, we went straight into the music. I used to give a note at school saying, Miss, can I have some time off to do it over the pubs? Mm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's in my thread. So what's the story in terms of how, because you, 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 obviously Five Star started, 40-year anniversary, but you kind mm. of, you've had quite a few get-togethers, break up, break, yes. I, don't, I don't know if you can say it's a breakup when it's family or more to stop yes. the band. I don't know, how did you see it? You know, it's, it's um, when you're with family and then it's business, then sometimes you get together <laughs> for Christmas and we all, you know, uh, celebrate and then sometimes the, we don't talk and then we get together and then we fours doing the group and then threes doing the group. So it's kind of like um, business and family. You know, you just got to juggle the two. So who was the peacemaker when it did all go <laughs> wrong? Because you're the baby, aren't you? Yeah, you're baby girl. Yeah. Mm. Who was the peacemaker? Who was the one who kind of said, enough, for all of us, we're being silly? I think maybe me. I think I, I, I would be the peacemaker because so they you, say I'm an like old soul. So you like a wise soul. head on young shoulders? They do. They've always said that I'm like a, um, an old soul. So... Yeah, yeah. I, I know we, we all have different characters, but I know how to um, talk to everybody in a certain way. And Doris also. And <laughs> I, I can imagine when people think about their families and, and thinking and a lot of the time, maybe you want to get away from your family, but it, mm. you, it was your work. So yeah. you'd be seeing them privately and, and, you know, in time, and then you'd have to go and work together. That puts an extra kind of strain on things, doesn't it? Um, I, I mean, think, it could be lovely. Yeah, it could be it's, wonderful. you know, we grew up in a household where dad and mum were always, they, they were happy, they did their thing, and you can do anything that you want to in life, you know, with that kind of attitude, don't let anything stop you. So, um, we're just, we, it, it was just, it was It felt very, quite natural, so it didn't feel like it was no, awkward in any way. No, sweetheart. We all, you know, that's the great thing about working with family. We all kind of know each other's energy and 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 we just feed off e each other's energy. We know, yeah. Do you think, do you look at the music industry now, I don't know if you're mm. philosophical at all, and look back at the, so what, what year are we talking about? The height of your, your fame as a band, mm. when, when, when are we talking about? What, I think that was 85, 86. Okay. Yeah. Which was an interesting time in music, wasn't it? There was a lot knocking around at the time, different mm -hmm. varieties of songs in the charts. Yeah. It was a strange old time, wasn't it? It was beautiful because we were different. I mean, we were the only one doing the um, dance routines and with the sparkly, humongous shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> they just got and bigger and bigger as the songs did. came out, didn't that's, they? That's Dallas era, though, Tweedy, isn't it? Dallas Dynasty, yeah, so it's yeah. proper, proper easy. And, like, yeah, and you had all the routines as well, because it was yeah. very much in the vibe of the Jackson 5, wasn't uh, it? Absolutely, in, in a way. Um, and the music was picked. I mean, we had the best uh, musicians. We had Greg Fillingaines on keyboard, and we had um, Paul Jackson on, on guitar, and that's Michael Jackson's musicians. So we had that American sound, um, and, and that's what set us apart. I and guess. It, in those days, uh, you presumably did Top of the Pops many, yes. many times. Many, many times. And backstage times. at Top of the Pops, who was at your most memorable encounter? <laughs> As someone you hadn't expected to meet, didn't know? <laughs> Is there, was there any, any of those moments? Well, well, sweetie, we were teenagers, so Daddy was like, Olive, you stay here, and I'm just going to go talk to these people here. Oh, so you weren't uh, allowed you, out to no, mix with people? No, we used to switch the lights off and then run around the, the, the dressing room and, and see who bumped into each other, just kind of like to pass the time, because it was really early in the mornings, and then we had to leave, you know, late. We were on stage very, very late, uh, late in the evening, but, um, yeah, we were very young. It's so interesting because you kind of, I, I was, I, funnily enough, not long ago, I was listening to Five Star Music. I was kind of reminiscing about the 80s, my time. And um, I'm just thinking about the sound of it and how, like, if we listen to your new single, just kind of, I, I'll see, I'll see what we can pick out of it in terms of themes and character. Mm hmm
We were just uh, saying that's uh, a spectacular plumage. <laughs> is that what it's called? Is that a technical term? It's, um, it's a carnival uh, outfit because it's carnival time, Charlie. Of course, yeah. <laughs> We've got the Notting Hill Carnival, haven't we? We've got carnival going on. So you're, you're, you're performing now, obviously, as well. Mm -hmm. So what's that vibe on stage without the rest of the gang? It's, it's great. You know, I was the only one who was really in my bedroom. Every time I came from school, I got on my guitar and I was playing and writing songs with the same four chords that I knew. Um, so I was always really, really, really the musical one, I think, a little bit more than the rest. Good job, the rest they're, good the job they're not here to, for you to like, fight over that. Are the rest of the family still performing? Are they, are they doing their own thing? Yeah, they're doing their own thing. Some of us are just kind of settled in life, doing um, songwriting and um, parenthood, and just, yeah, just, just living life and enjoying life. Well, you, so you're doing a couple of shows in the next few days, aren't you? Yes, sweetheart. Um, September 30th is going to be um, Pizza Express Live uh, in Holborn. That's our extended date that we've put on onto the 40th anniversary. So everybody's going to be getting um, a complimentary, come on, con, complimentary glass of champagne, um, a photo to be signed, and they get to meet me and take pictures. Fabulous. So, yeah. So you've got lots going on. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for coming in this end of the day, considering you perform the other end of the day. And also, we should mention, thank you, Denise, uh, Five Star 40th Anniversary Remixes is out now.